What's going on guys? We've got another video today for this weekend. We're going to be looking at the Axial Bombers with 3800 KV brushless systems in them. Um, this video, we're doing a crawling video this weekend. We're, we're, I was going to do a car compare thing and keep our discount Top Gear series going, but we'll extend that next weekend. Uh, we took a neat trip to go to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where we went to play around with some other river rocks there. We are driving around with, um, with the bombers, trying to do some more, I guess, technical crawling, since I only have the Ultra Vort racetrack in my yard that you've probably seen by now. Since as I record this, or as I narrate this, I've already posted the video where we have new shoes on the bombers. And uh, we've also taken those the spare tire mounts you can see on the back of them. We've taken them off, and I have stickier tires on my bomber now. So at some point in the future we're going to be going back here with um, that spare tire removed. I think we're going to be able to do a whole lot more and take some much cooler lines with these. But yeah, I figure this might be an interesting video doing some little crawling in here to try and... Um, anybody who has one of these, the brushless system is kind of a must. It, I think we got these on sale for like 250 bucks when they were on sale. MSRP normally $480. At normal MSRP I might take a pretty hard pass on them since we had a bunch of stuff. I, I, for a while we couldn't get through one battery pack without having something break on the car. Um, I had a hilarious... <laughs> I'll, I'll try and put a picture over it if I uh, remember at this point. Uh, we'll put a picture over the video of the um, my servo failure I had almost immediately with this at Sioux Falls here. Yeah, I never realized that specific failure mode was in the books there. I was expecting to maybe blow the gear out or something. I wasn't expecting the output gear to literally crack in half on the servo. That was a new one for me. Um, luckily, we drove three hours to get here. I was still able to pull the servo off my T-Rex or Sport, throw that in the bomber, and run it for the rest of the day. And uh, didn't have any issues with tracks the servo. I put an Eco Power into it for now, so we'll roll with that. And now we have new tires, new sticky tires with the, the spare tire mount and all that extra weight taken off the back. I'm expecting when uh, we go back next time, it'll be a whole different car and we'll have many, many fewer problems with some of the lines. Since uh, these rocks look like the, they kind of look like the slick rock you can see out west, but they are um, actually slick rock. It's like all smooth river rock with a layer of dust over it. It's um, not like driving on sandpaper with lots of traction, as you can probably see their tires are slipping a lot. It's a uh, smooth rock that's a little bit harder to find grip on. But um, overall, I was really happy with how the bomber did. We have a Castle Mamba X 3800KB slate combo in it, and I have a, a black one, and as this video is being filmed, has the rear hot racing sway bar on it, and only the rear sway bar, which helps to calm down a lot of the torque twists, so when I climb stuff, it actually keeps all four wheels on the ground, and I, it doesn't kick flip itself on flat ground with a brushless system in it. Um, I didn't put the front one on since I didn't want to lose the articulation in the front, but the rear sway bar definitely seems to help quite a bit in the car. Uh, the blue one has no sway bars and the same Castle Mamba X3 100 KV combo in it. I would strongly recommend that. At the time I'm recording this, those combos are on sale for $199 on A-Main Hobbies instead of $265. Um, they are very, very worth it, especially in this, so you can... Um, you can toggle the speed control between race mode and crawl mode, so you can get your crawl mode where it goes straight to reverse with a big drag brake, or your race mode where it just free wheels and drives like a normal car all at once. So yeah, this was a fun line. I'm looking forward to trying this line again whenever we go back there. Whenever I go back next time with some stickier tires and spare tire off the back, because uh, this was a this one this one was a challenging line that I think could be really cool. I like the bombers. The brushless system unlocked a lot of new lines that maybe you can't necessarily crawl it, but I can certainly bounce my way up if I'm careful. This this one was a very tricky one to get right. I, I probably sat here for 40 minutes trying to get this line all in one continuous shot, but we had to reframe it and try again here, as we'll see. Bouncing it up there just ever so carefully to get the wheels positioned right, and then we'll nudge our way up. There we go. With the, the 3800 KB combo with the stock gear and the bomber seems to be the perfect thing where you can... Hopefully I'm showing you can still do slower technical crawling with it, but when you need the extra wheel speed, you have the extra wheel speed. And with um, the stock DX3 transmitter up that they ship with these, you at least have the... Um, you have a fourth channel to control the, the auxiliary switch, and you can turn the throttle limit switch down pretty quickly. So for most of the crawling you're seeing in this, we have the throttle limit set at 50%, which... 
cutting the limiting the throttle to 50 percent on the transmitter made it a lot 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 easier to keep under control on the rocks because at 100 percent oh boy they've got some power and 100 percent is nicer running around my track at home with full power so i can get it get it going faster and clear the jumps uh for the rock crawling this everything you're seeing in this video is done at half throttle so this is all the wheel speed you see in the bumps are only half as aggressive as they otherwise could be. Making it up there, driving them next to each other. We got an interesting section coming up next, I think. Just trying to descend the hill. I did notice after I took the spare tire off the back here, it does it descends better with the spare tire on it, go figure, but it, it's worth the climbing benefit to, to take it off, I would say. Trying to do a little trail run where you stay together and you can kind of see, maybe see the articulation difference between the two with the rear sway bar versus no sway bar. We have a Vanquish, uh, a Vanquish front suspension links and a Vanquish drag link and tie rod. I don't know why that slipped my mind. Because we had the front suspension links were breaking almost constantly on these until we put the Vanquish ones on and the stock drag link and tie rod honestly feels like it's made of something slightly more pliable than Play-Doh. So if you if you sneeze on the wheels the tie rod bends and you lose all ability to, con to control the car, putting the steel one on is, I think you immediately need to go to the steel and drag link and tie rod and you may as well just order the whole Vanquish link and kit for this immediately. Hence everything seems to get a lot more durable at that point and you can actually control the car steering. Downside is there is no servo saver so in an application like this where we're kind of crawling and also still bashing them around our track here. Which, uh, the car should have been on screen at some point for running it around the track here. Um, no servo saver when you're hitting jumps is a little scary, but for crawling it's definitely... I'll, I'll try and I'll blow out a couple servos now and then if um, that's what it takes to be able to crawl with it. Get up on the tree here. I'm trying my best to get around here so we can see where we're actually needing to go. And this is where I think I fail miserably. Yep. <laughs> and this is where we'll see that uh, the extra articulation when not having the sway bar um, seemed to be a bit of a benefit for that section so you can watch the rear axle flex through. I'll put myself back up on the wheels and we'll come over here and we'll both hop over this little tree root log thing. It's a very different feeling going from the, the slippery rocks into a nice grippy tree root thing full of bark there, lots of things to grab onto with the tires, whereas these rocks are all pretty slippery, so I'm excited to get back through some sticky tires and try again. If anybody finds this video remotely interesting, since it maybe it isn't as exciting, but um, other video on screen, I went to wheel my Jeep for Memorial Day a while ago. I can't always go wheel for a reel with full-size things, since that takes a lot more money and time and coordination with other people to go wheel for real. because if you break, you generally don't want to be alone. Um, so since I can't always go wheel for real, we're kind of getting into these crawler rock bouncer things since I can't do this in the real world all the time. This is a good way to get most of the same dopamine feels, but um, do it for less money, I guess. So maybe there, there should have been a card on screen for that. There's a little minute 30 second video I had of wheeling the Jeep for real. I think this is one of the last lives we have in this clip where we kind of crawl up this and go up and down a little bit. Trying to show what you can do with a 3800 KV system for slower crawling while I, I still have a lot of learning to do as I drive, but the, the castle system does seem to be very, very good for being able to do everything. Right, this is our last little clip here. I think we're going to have a short climb. You kind of have to, like, when there's ledges like that in this rock, it's really slippery, so you kind of got to bump the rock a little bit. But if you made it this far, let me know in the comments if you want you get a chocolate lava cake or something and uh, say that. That's how I know you actually made it this far in the video. Thanks for watching if you stuck around to the end. Hopefully you found this interesting and we might have more content coming soon on these in the, in the near future. Hopefully if uh, this RC stuff ever takes off as like, an adult that needs to justify playing with my cars myself. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this if you actually made it this far in the video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.